Hello everyone and welcome to KPI's Oracle to Snowflake Migration Accelerator Utility demonstration. So let's talk about the key benefits of the KPI Migration Utility. Firstly, we can reduce the risk and cost of your migration knowing that KPI has architected this solution using Snowflake best practices. Secondly, we can help you realize significant cost savings. If you have 100 or thousands of Oracle objects, this utility will save significant resource cost that can be used elsewhere. Third point is we can accelerate your time to value. This utility will move your production workload to Snowflake in weeks, not months. And finally, number four, we can provide productivity gains. Time saved with this utility, all the points before, can help you focus all that effort in other areas. Okay, before we use today's migration utility, let's quickly take a look at the Oracle database. So in the uppermost report here, we can see the object types, table view, materialized view, and synonyms, and the object names, and their associated record counts that we're gonna to migrate to Snowflake. As we complete the utility migration, we'll return to this report with updated row counts. Once the utility is installed, go ahead and start the executable. Click Start. This will bring me to the settings. Here I enter the required information, connection name, username, etc. Once we've entered this information, we can go ahead and click Connect. Now we're connected to the Oracle database, database, let's go ahead and choose the objects to be migrated to Snowflake, like the tables, views, materialized views, and synonyms. So here we're selecting the tables, we're selecting two views, two materialized views, and three synonyms. Click OK. Now enter the Snowflake connection details and press connect. Now that everything is set, let's begin with a migration process by selecting one of these objects. We can just create the objects, we can create the objects and load the data, or we can load the data along with validation. In this example, we're loading the data along with the validation. So what we're doing here is we're migrating the Oracle database objects. You'll see the Oracle and equivalent Snowflake DDLs here after it's done. If you can see in the background, it started to extract the DDLs from Oracle and creating the equivalent in Snowflake. This takes a couple of seconds, obviously depending on the size of the data in the database. So fast forwarding a little bit because we have selected several files and tables and we're including validation as well. Now you can see that everything has been migrated to Snowflake and the migration process is completed. So now we've migrated our data. Remember the report I showed earlier that showed the object names uh, for Oracle? We have that same report with the Oracle and Snowflake record counts. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna refresh this report. And here is the refreshed report. Now you can see the Snowflake record count has been updated and that Snowflake record count is equal to the Oracle record count. So, a successful migration. So if you're considering an Oracle to Snowflake migration, remember that KPI can help you reduce that risk and cost. We can provide significant cost savings. We can definitely accelerate your time to value. And with those productivity gains, we can allow you to focus on other strategic initiatives. Finally, a big thank you for taking the time to review this demonstration. Um, for more information, do reach out to us at our email address on this slide, also by phone as well, and you're very welcome to look out the kpipartners.com website. Thank you very much.